So one of the ladies in our Facebook group had a problem with her faux sea glass, store-bought sea glass on um, black canvas. And in this, I'm going to show you the different effects of glass when you do put it on different color canvases, whether it be the faux sea glass or painted glass or whatnot. So in a minute, I'm going to be pouring resin over some of this glass and pouring resin on the canvases and just setting the glass on top. And I just want you to see the different effects. This here is store-bought faux sea glass. It's a really light purple, very light. You can see that it is a purple, but um, you'll see the effects in a minute. And this here is actually a purple painted vase that I had used in a previous project. And I have it on uh, the glass, painted glass, on regular glass, on um, the different color canvas. And here's the vase. Here's what the vase looks like. Um, it appears to be purple, but when you turn it on its side, you can see it's actually clear and it was painted purple. So in a minute, I'm going to start pouring resin over the glass. Some of the glass, I'm just going to put the resin under and some of the glass, I'm going to put the resin on top of and under. And so you see the one strip where I have the black paint watch what happens to the pieces of glass as we pour the resin over it first one is the purple vase and you can see that it almost immediately turns the vase black when you put resin over it and when, when i'm done with this i'm going to show you close-ups after the resin has set and this is the purple sea glass i'm putting resin under it and on top of it and it immediately turns black and then the next one i'm just putting resin under it and I'm going to set the glass on top of it and it doesn't seem to make a difference it immediately turns black and here I'm just putting resin over the purple glass that's set on the purple part of the canvas and you can see it stays purple and it even looks more purple because there's purple painted under it and then the rest of this I'm just going to go through kind of fast and the next day I realized that I didn't um, show you what the store-bought sea glass looks like on white paint. So after that resin had set the next day, I painted that little splotch there white. And I took some resin and I put it down over the white paint. And I put a piece of the um, purple store-bought sea glass on top of the resin with no resin on top and then one piece with resin on top just to show you what it would look like um, and how it becomes more translucent but that you could still see the purple and there's the piece without the resin on top and then I also painted a couple pieces of glass so this is the store-bought glass and I just put purple paint on the very back and I'm going to set this down part in the black and part in the white. And you can see how it shows up with the paint underneath. So if you're wanting to put it on black, you have to do something. You have to put some um, paint underneath it. And I'm also putting resin on top. And then this next piece of glass that I have is from that purple vase. And what I did was I took that same purple paint and I just painted just along the strip. See how it's clear in the one I'm pointing to? And here I just took some acrylic purple paint and just quickly painted over that and let it dry. And now I'm setting it down partway in the white and partway on the black to show you... Um, when you pour resin over it, because it's painted purple, it maintains the purple color. That acrylic paint is opaque on the bottom, so it helps to maintain the purple color. And I'm going to show you all this in a minute in the final video after it dries. Hey everyone, so I'm going to show you the results and um, it's just really crazy the way, so this was a piece of purple uh, store-bought sea glass and I'm going to show you so this is the one with resin on it and this does not have resin on it so even if you put a piece of this 
sea glass on black without resin on the top and only on the bottom, it still turns black. The background of your canvas totally affects the way that the glass is gonna look. Okay, so this, and then I realized that I hadn't used the purple glass on white to show you what it would look like. So this is what it looked like. And then those two pieces above, and this is really a bad example because it is such a light purple. So what I did was I came back and I took this um, blue one. This is a darker piece of the store-bought, and this is blue. <laughs> They're not real dark. And I put it here, and you can see it doesn't really, and I put resin over it. It doesn't really look any different than the purple. It really lightened right up. When you put resin over it, it just totally um, becomes so much more translucent. And so then I also took this blue sea glass and I put it up on the white, but I just put resin under it and not on top of it. And it does stand out a little more. So if you insist on using it on white canvas, you're best off not pouring any resin on top. Um, and it does leave it more of a frosted look. So this sea glass you can buy um, like bags like this, and, and this is just like a mass produced. They uh, put it on a, it's like a sheet of glass and they, um, I don't know if they tumble it. It almost looks like it's been tumbled a tiny bit, but they just spray paint it. That's all it is is spray paint. And I have tried to tumble these before because I bought, um, I bought some and I thought, oh, those are cool. They just need to be rounded a little more. And I threw them in my tumbler and they all came out clear. I said, oh, no. So anyway, um, so these you can, you cannot tumble. They look, they look nice, but um, you have to be careful with your resin. If you put resin over them, they will totally uh, disappear in a darker canvas. And um, if you just, like on this white sheet, it does show up more with resin just under it, not on top of it. And then this is the same uh, blue or purple, I should say. So this is on glass. This is this piece of purple, which is very, very light, but this is with resin over it, almost totally disappears. And this is with no resin on it. You can see the color a tiny bit. So, um, if you're gonna use it, don't put resin on top of it. It will stand out a little more. And then one of the things I did to make it stand out was I took one of these, uh, this one here, or one of those, purple, and I painted purple behind it. And I should have done one with, uh, with it not covered, but I put, um, so I painted purple behind the glass, not on top of it, and then poured resin over it. And you can see because it's totally opaque, it doesn't pick up the color underneath it. <coughs> so I know this is kind of confusing because I did so much glass, but just know that the color that you put translucent glass on, the color underneath it will definitely affect it. And I did a bird a while ago. I did that a while ago and I ended up having to rip all the glass up because I had this blue background behind that glass there and it totally turned it blue. So I learned the hard way a long time ago also. Okay, so the other one that I used was the pink glass. And up here, these are both the faux tumbled pink glass with resin on it and without, totally turned black. Um, here it is on the purple glass with resin on it, totally turned purple without resin on it. Um, it did kind of maintain its pink, but the reason is it's an arched piece of glass and the center part did not touch the resin. So the center part stayed pink. And you can say in each of the corners where the resin is actually touching it, it turned purple. <laughs> and then here's the same pink glass on a white canvas. And you can see the pink. This has resin on it. This one doesn't. But you can see that it's in your best interest to find deep, darker colors, like this blue really stands out. And then on the uh, glass on glass, 
Well, of course, the blue really stands out with and without. And the pink, um, you know, you can see that. It still looks pretty, but it is lighter. This is uh, the frosted. This is without resin on it, and that's with resin on it. And this is a much thicker piece, so it will look darker. The thicker it is, the thinner the piece of glass is, the more translucent it will become also. So the last thing that I used was um, from this vase here this purple vase and it's a painted vase and when you break it you can tell that it's painted it looks purple on the outside but when you turn it sideways you can see how it's clear i'm hoping you can see that yeah like that so when you stand it on its side for the flower you see the clear spot and you can see here um, it just totally turned black now on this one, I painted that strip of acrylic black um, purple paint underneath and that helped it to stay purple. Um, it might have taken on some of the black, I don't know. But here you can see how clear and light it is and it doesn't really stand out. But if you put it on top of a uh, purple uh, flower or something that you've painted on canvas, a lot of people will even just take a uh, paint their pretty flower and then just take clear glass and put it on top and um, it'll take on the color of the flower underneath all the different colors that are in the flower just as this took on the black that will also so um, just keep that in mind when you're doing glass art and then again with this here you can see not that people paint on glass but some people do i've painted on glass you can see how it takes on the purple and how it looks so much darker than this that's just sitting on the glass like that and again the blue really stands out the deeper darker colors that you can use the better but there are ways to disguise your glass like i said but you could take this and paint um purple uh, just on the strip underneath it, just on the strip underneath it, the acrylic purple paint and put it down, you know, the acrylic paint side down. And this would look a deeper purple, you know, if you don't want to spray paint it or something. I used this glass in my last video to create the purple cabbage and I did use spray paint. But there are other ways to, um, you know, color your glass that's painted that um that isn't deep enough of a color for you so anyway um i hope you guys learned something i hope this will help you and um uh, i learned the hard way about it with making my bird over there i had to totally rip that glass off and then repaint the same color of the glass underneath the bird and it was really a pain but um anyway so anyway, if you are going to use a dark background, a black or a dark background, use opaque glass, glass that you cannot see through. And then it can't pick up the color of the canvas or whatever behind it. So um, I, hope, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps the channel. If you enjoy the channel, go ahead and subscribe. We have the Facebook page going, a lot of valuable information. Um, actually, that's why I ended up doing the video because one of the ladies had uh, put her uh, glass, her um, sea glass on the, uh, on the black canvas. And so I just wanted to show everybody so maybe, um, you know, we can prevent some more mistakes. And um, and she ended up fixing it by painting it, and it looks beautiful. But um, <clears throat> anyway, uh, come join us on the Facebook page, and I hope you guys all have a great day. Thanks for watching.